Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a sales pipeline in Monday CRM. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to build your own. I'm Patrick with Productivity Tools, where we've helped over 100 small businesses build their CRM in Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're here Monday CRM. And the first thing you need to know is that everything with regards to sales pipelines um, it's based around status column. So usually there's one status column like this one called stage uh, or something similar, which tells you which, what stage of the pipeline your deal is. So if you click on it, this is just a default CRM template, by the way, you see a few options. Well, this is the first and most important thing to be able to build a sales pipeline in Monday CRM. So make sure you have a similar status column. Then there's a few ways to visualize your pipeline. The first thing, is with a Kanban board. So I already created one here. And I think it's also part of the CRM template. And as you can see, you see uh, all the stages. If you don't have this, you can create it yourself by clicking here on the plus icon and then clicking on Kanban. So let's set it up together. As you can see, by default, it's almost instantly perfect. But if it's not perfect, um, you can click here on the right hand side on the settings icon. And here there's a lot of stuff we can configure. So let's go through it. First things first, select your status column. In my case, there's only one, so we'll use that one. But this is the stage column that I was talking about that you need to use. You can divide by group if you like it that way. So for example, if you have multiple pipelines, let's say you have a product A and product B, you can split it like that is an option. Uh, I don't use divide by that often, but you can use it if you want to. So yeah, whatever you like here, I would say play around with it a bit. They have show battery. That's, this is referring to this battery that you see here. Um, whether you want to see it or not, I don't think it's, you know, I, I quite like it, but I don't use it that often. So I'll just keep it turned on. Then you can customize your Kanban cards. So this is an important one. What you see here, this Google deal, for example, is a, called a Kanban card. And all the things you see here, the discovery stage, the value, the person connected and the date, expected close date, are in my Kanban card. The Kanban card is the one you see here. So we can drag and drop things into there. So let's say we don't care. We don't want to see stage here because we already know it's in this stage. You can drag it out of there. As you can see, it will update. Maybe we want to see like the forecasted value, so you can draw, drag it in there. You can change the sequence of those fields. So for example, right now it starts with the deal value and then the connected contacts. Maybe we want to first see the connected contact. So you can just adjust this to your needs and make sure it's perfect for you. Um, yeah, just completely up to what you prefer and what you would like to see. A lot of columns in your Monday board will show up here. So just add more columns to your main board and you'll see it here as well. That one's good to know. If you want to, you can show the column name by turning it on here. This makes it a little bit cluttered. So I don't really like it. But maybe in the beginning, if you want to get used to what it actually means, it's helpful. I would rather just hold my mouse on it and hover over it and it will tell you what it is. In this case, forecast value, expected close date, you get the point. So this is the first thing you can change here. The second thing is you can change the sequence of these field. So if you want to sometimes, for example, maybe when you start creating this yourself, it might be in the wrong order. So you might need to change it a little bit. Just very easy by just dragging and dropping like I'm doing here. If there's a field in here that you don't want to show, such as blank, then you can click here on these three dots and you can hide some things. So we can say, for example, want to hide blank and we want to hide new, just for example. If you want to, you can do that yourself. You can do it like this. It's pretty simple. And then you click save to this view to make sure it's saved for you know the next time you open it that you actually have applied those changes. So my my case i don't care about blank so i don't want to see it i often uh, also remove one and lost because you know you will have a huge list of one and lost deals at some point so and the more deals your monday account needs to load in the slower it gets so you know if you have like 10 or 21 deals you won't notice it at all but if you have a big team if you use it for five years you have like five thousand or a thousand one deals or lost deals things can be a bit slow and to be honest the thing with kanban views it's it really depends on how big your screen is but as you can see here with how i'm zoomed in i can see maybe four deals maybe if i would make this scorecards a little bit smaller you would see even five or six deals i can zoom out of course and see way more deals but it also needs to be helpful enough to be able to see it when you have like more than five or six deals it's very hard to see them anyways in a camman view so that's why i don't really care too much about one and lost the only reason i sometimes like it's because you can just drag and drop them in there uh, which is quite helpful that's the first thing you need to know um the second thing you need to know is there's a different way to view data of course you can see it in your main table you can just see everything here and then an interesting one is you can group it by the stage 
So in this case, you have a very similar situation, but then in a list view, this is especially helpful if you have a lot of deals in specific stages, because it's just easier to see, you can collapse the groups, very easy to, uh, to see everything. Next thing, we have item views. So if I were to open the deal by clicking here, we have this item view. What is loading in here is also a pipeline. We can adjust this ourselves. It's a little bit different than what you would be used to. Usually you would go here, click on these three dots, and then click edit layout and content. And then you would have these three dots here, and you would click settings. But what you see here is there are no settings. And this, in my opinion, is a little bit of a weird thing about Monday that they don't show it here. They actually, for this widget, show it here, which you'll also be able to see here. So that's where you would find your settings. Sounds to me, looks a little bit like bug, like maybe they want to fix this at some point because it's a little vague, but this is how you find your settings. It's very similar. Select the column here, pretty straightforward. You select which ones you want to show and which ones you don't want to show. You call, you have a final face label, which is this one, and can give it a name. This is the same as one. So you can call it close you can call it congratulations you can call it completed whatever you want but if you click here it's technically one as you can see here then set the label for complete so which one is for you complete in my case one which one is lost or incomplete which is lost and which comps do you want to display here also some like small things to add more information i like these basic things like the owner deal value expected close date you can also drag them around if you want to nothing too special but it's it's just helpful information if you want to just get a quick glimpse of where we're at then the color of the bar some people like it in a certain way let's say you, you prefer a different color like yellow or like brown or yellow whatever you prefer i like dark green uh, but dark green also kind of indicates that it's one so sometimes i like something more blue-ish if it wants to show it to me yeah something like blue i would rather do something like that so i know it's not one it's not lost yet so if i click lost it's red if i click one it's green oh actually it says blue i don't know i like blue in this case, a bit more than uh, than green, but it's up to you. So that's a good one to uh, keep in mind. One thing I really like about Monday is, and this is a thing that you need to, you can do on enterprise, but you can also do it on pro, is that when you change the stage, you might want to request certain information from your team member. So let me show you how to do it on enterprise first, and then I'll show you how to do it in pro. If you're not on enterprise, you can skip to the pro version in the timestamps in the video, but uh, it's actually nice to see how it works on enterprise. So you have an idea of what it's like. So if you're an enterprise and you click here, and you can Click settings, set label change conditions. Then you see this. So when a label changes to something, so let's say to lost, then we want some column to be entered. You can say, for example, I want, let's create a new column and call it a text and we call it a lost reason. Ideally, you want this in the status column, but just for the example, let's say settings. When the status changes to lost, I want my team to enter a lost reason. And it's a required field, and I'm going to apply it. If I now click done, and I would change it to lost, as you can see, it will show a pop-up that says, hey, first you need to let me know what the lost reason is. Otherwise, as you can see, I cannot save it. If I go back, it won't change it. This is very helpful because then I can know, I uh, can figure out why deals are getting lost. I can say, lead this engaged, save. Now it would show up as lost, and you would see it here. You can do this with different columns as well. I would recommend doing it with status columns so you can actually track it for specific categories. Usually what I do is I have one status column that says category of lost reason, like disengaged, no money, worked with a competitor, could be anything. And then a second column that says why or give more context. That one wouldn't be required and the first one would be. But obviously it really depends on what you like to track and how you want to do it. But this is what I would recommend. If you're on the pro plan, you'll notice that this is not available yet. However, it is available with a very simple workaround. So let me show you. It's with an app called Workflow. If you click here on the puzzle icon, you go to the Monday Marketplace, you can type Workflow. And Workflow, as you can see, is this app. It's been downloaded a ton of times. And it's a very popular company that has built the app. It's built by people that have built basically the best apps of the App Store as of the time of recording this. So if you click there, oh, something went wrong on our end. Let me figure out why that is the case. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, I'm not really sure, but the Monday Marketplace had some bugs. But basically what you can do is you can go to a board and click on the plus icon here. And then you can click more columns scroll down click more columns again and then type workflow and then you'll see it here workflow apps you might see it here so you would just click get it now use app oh now it shows up again that's kind of weird i think it's because i've already installed the app that is doing kind of weird thing it usually shouldn't do this but um i think that's why basically if you follow the steps i just showed where you click use app it will work then if you go to your board and go to those more columns section and type workflow you'll see your installed workflow app keep in mind it is an app that has a subscription fee but the first i think 20 or something 
testing options uh, a month or for free. So you can just play around with it to see if you like it. Click add to board. It will show up like this. Uh, it looks like a very similar to a stage column, right? It's just normal status column. It takes a little longer to load because it's not a native stage column, but it's basically the same thing. And what you can do is you can click edit workflow. And this app has more options, of course, but one of the options I love most is in the, let's say, well, let me just show you how it works. So if you scroll, for example, do like this, you drag and drop all those things in there. You can tell the user what they can switch to when. So for example, from a blank state, you can switch to work on it. And from working on it, you can switch to done. And let's say we add stock here as well. Let's say, well, actually, let me show you something because there's this interesting thing that's called import labels. So you can import all your labels instantly from your different stage column. So let's click import. And I will show you all those labels in this section. Usually this takes a few seconds. So let's wait until that's done. There you go. And we can say, well, we have one, we have lost, we have proposal, negotiation. It can allow your team to choose some options. And same thing here. If you switch from proposal to lost, for example, we can say, well, some columns are required by clicking here. Add new required column. We say we want lost region to be required. See, it works in a very similar way. So let's now go to proposal and then to lost. So let's try that. So we first need to go to negotiation, which will then allow us to go to proposal. And then it will allow us to go to lost. And as you can see, we have the exact same pop-up. Well, as you can probably tell, it's way cheaper to buy like a small subscription of this app than to upgrade to enterprise for this specific reason. Of course, enterprise can be super interesting, but for small businesses with a tight budget, this can be a great workaround to get the same outcome. So that's something I would highly recommend that you play around with. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll make sure to answer all of them. And if you want more monday.com related tips, Feel free to subscribe to my free newsletter. You can also find it in the description below. And remember, if you need help with the custom implementation, you can also find my contact details in the description below. And I'm happy to help you out. Hope you liked it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.